Lean over to the house. Get up, dude. Get up. We're on it. There we go. Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, Marcus, back here in VMX Streets Pipe, and hopefully you guys are excited for more pipe content to be coming out, because I've got to catch up to these guys making maps faster than I can make videos. This right here is Oscar's house, made by Oscar. He's been on it recently with a few maps. Johnny the G's been putting out maps like crazy. There are a couple of other guys as well that uh, that have been putting out maps, so I need to ride those, those maps as well, but plenty of parks to ride, plenty of maps, different street parks you got backyard parks like this you've got indoor parks so a lot of really cool stuff this is this is a really cool one right here oscar is delivering something awesome so you've got the snow in the background he's got a day and a night version the night version has the snow and a little bit more going on the daytime version is a little bit easier for the lower end computers to handle it's a daytime obviously and uh <laughs> it doesn't have as much going on but he's got the smoke coming off the grill he's grilling up some hot dogs and hamburgers over here he's got his brewski right there uh <laughs> you got the pong table over here and the cups actually aren't empty i thought they might just be empty but they're not empty and you can see that cup there on the far left bottom left corner actually has two ping pong balls in it they've got four balls on the table i don't know how they're playing different than how i play but um i guess you got those two back up that makes sense anyway you've got you know the patio area right here coolers really cool spot but the park that's what you guys want to see right before i get to the park i do want to clear some things up with the rider customizer that line rider made a couple of you guys told me what I was doing wrong. I was not hitting done when I was done. So when you come in here and you change the shirt, which the shirt that I'm wearing is a custom one that I made. I tried to make a something rad shirt. Yeah, that's about as good as it got. So I just took a texture, put it over this, made it really easy. But when you're done selecting what you're selecting, hit done. And you can go and choose the next thing that you want to run. Then you hit done. And it's that easy. I was just too stupid to, to know that. But now I know it and uh, I can customize my rider and it saves. Oh yeah, my bike isn't customized either. I need to customize that guy before I get going too much here. Got my bike now, so looking a lot better. So this is a smaller park, but the details are here. So I already showed you the patio. He's got the white fence with the plants right there. He's got some lights located around the place. But the textures, my god, the textures look absolutely amazing out here. The wood on the ramps, the textures of everything around the place, it all looks super good. The house, oh, I just noticed he's got some uh, some smoke coming out of the top of the house up there. I wonder if he can ride the house. Hmm, that might be something to, to try. What just happened? <laughs> Up on top here, he's also got a transfer into this quarter pipe right here, but <laughs> I just jumped it to flat. It's tricky to actually not land pretty flat on it, but that's pretty good right there. He's got a wall ride right here behind actually that quarter pipe. It's a smaller place, but ride's good. Box jumps are good, quarter pipes are good. The um, the spine's good. Oh, can I go over the other side? I don't think. Oh, that was it right there. That was nice. The park is mostly transition, but he's got this section right over here, which is kind of a street inspired section more so. There we go. You have to pump it. As long as you pump it in the transition, you can get the speed. I was a little bit too straight up and down though on that one. I never mentioned the box jump. He's got the box jump right here, which is a one-way box jump. You've got the takeoff and landing side. And then there is another one right over here. And this one, you can go either way. <laughs> Knack the double peg. You can ride this one the other way, but that's not how it's supposed to be ridden. And then there's a vert wall that I did not ride correctly at all. Can I gap over the rail and then... 
not into the fence, but over the rail and land on that down hubba. That would be cool if I can get that. Whoa, helicopter Superman. That's not a conventional trick. I wonder if instead of hitting the wall ride, I can actually kind of hip transfer this whole thing. That's what I was looking for. So awesome. Oh, back the other way. This park is really fun. It rides really smooth. It is on the smaller side of things, but that's not always a bad thing. And I think sometimes the smaller ones, a little bit more attention to detail is paid to these just because there's not as much going on out here. Uh, the creator can really kind of fine tune everything instead of, I want to get something on that guy right there. But the creator can really fine tune every single feature and pay attention to everything instead of having so much out here to try and focus on. Oh, I thought I was going to drop the front end and just go right to my face. That spine works so well. Oh, next seven. I don't think I've ever done that one before. I never really do can cans, candy bars, no footed can. Transfer over from the box jump to the spine. That was awesome. That's not what I was going for, but <laughs> it kind of worked. Didn't look good. Ooh, I see a transfer right there. I think that's doable. Man on that transfer not really a transfer just kind of a I don't know if you would call it a hip it's kind of a hip just kind of like a jump to the side there's the vert wall I'm really digging this purple bike that I made I rode it like a quarter pipe right there instead of uh, like a spine Trying to like find the sweet spot right in the middle. Okay, I found the sweet spot right in the middle, but I didn't want to find that suitable spot. I did it again. And I actually stopped up on top. I don't know if that counts. I don't even know what happened right there. I just want to lock my pegs in and then pop off. That's all I want to do. Like that. On pop off. Haha, <laughs> there we go. That was it. Alright, now I want to try and get on the roof. If I can do that, then I'll be happy. So I'm going to need the lowest part and the highest place to air on it. So I'm kind of thinking this corner over here, if I can somehow either air from the vert wall all the way over to the roof or from this pocket right here all the way over to it that'll be that'll be how I'm gonna try and do it trying to get the speed seems pretty tough for this that was pretty close though it might be doable with the nose manual glitch where you get that boost right there if I do that on the on the vert wall I might be able to get this the height Especially if I come at it to or come into it at an angle. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be it right there. I think this is possible for sure. Before I try and get on the roof again, I want to try and get something over the rail and then so that hub ledge right there. That was janky though. <laughs> oh my god! I just figured out how to lock into the coping on accident. It's crazy. All the time I put into this game and I'm still figuring things out. So. It is whichever side of the bike you're trying to lock into. So since I locked in on the right side of the bike, it's right trigger. If I want to lock in on the left side of the bike, it's left trigger. You just hold it down the whole way when you're in the air. See? It's like that right there. And 
There it is. Getting out of it. So that's going to help me. I'm going to be able to get on the roof now. I know for sure how I'm going to be able to do it. All right, I got it. I gapped over the rail all the way to the hubba over there. So now I know exactly how I'm going to get up on this thing now. That was a failed attempt. Like that. And then lock in. Lean over to the house. Get up, dude. Get up. We're on it. There we go. It was it wasn't the best, but but I'm up here. So now what to do? I'm gonna try and transfer into that quarter right here. Just like that. Oh my god, that was so cool. Go tail whip into it. Right into the fence. Now I'm over the fence. <laughs> I just hit the wrong button. I just uh, hit the button to set the marker and not go back to the marker. So now I'm just outside the map and I don't think I can get back in. What a great place to end this video. I was going to end it after that anyway. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe for more content if you're not subscribed yet. And I will catch you guys all again in the next video. Have a good one.